Hello, this is Vituals Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Recently in this game of the Vienna Gambit Exeter, <laughs> my new Egyptian friend played a most audacious counter gambit to the Vienna Gambit. Let's go take a look. So, e4, e5, knight c3, the Vienna game, they played the fork beer, and of course f4, Vienna Gambit. And being a good sport, they accepted the gambit and now push the e-pawn e5. Those of you who follow my channel or who are Vienna Gambit fans will know that in this position, uh, the only good move really for the, uh, for the Black Knight, which is of course under attack, is to undevelop. So Knight back to g8. And at the intermediate level, my opponent is in the mid 1200s, and that's the most common move. The other common move is attempting to pin the pawn to the king with queen e7, though that is a less optimal line. So I was very surprised when my opponent decided to play knight to e4. Now this is uh, technically a blunder, you know, because that knight is straight up hanging. However, my opponent is in the mid 1200s and they spent about 20 seconds thinking about that move, which means that there is intentionality to this move. They, they knew that that knight was hanging. There's intentionality to this move. There is a purpose. And this is a fascinating move. Absolutely fascinating in terms of thinking about why did my opponent with the black pieces make this move? I think what they were thinking of was, was that they were going to fully gambit their knight. So this is a counter gambit to potentially launch a rapid attack. Now there are some other gambits where you would lose a full piece in the opening for a pawn to get a big attack. The Halloween Gambit is probably the most common example. And by losing a knight for a pawn, you end up getting some great attacking lines, uh, you know, some great tactics against your opponent, even though technically it's not so good. Now here, of course, one of the, one of the weaknesses of the Vienna Gambit is this early move of the F-pawn, which weakens this dark square diagonal. And I think that was what my opponent was thinking, you know, forcing me to make a move, uh, potentially weakening that diagonal, uh, and potentially with the pawn already in this position on the F-file, uh, you know, black potentially has some good line, some good tactics. And in fact, this is a potential issue that you need to know what to do against in the Vienna uh, Gambit accepted lines. So this is a hanging knight. I should take it, and I did. And my opponent immediately played queen h4 with check. Now, this would normally be good uh, because the queen's knight on c3 is in no position to provide any defense along this dark square diagonal. But unfortunately for my opponent, geometrically after my knight ended up on e4, it does in fact now defend against both those squares. So here I've got a number of options. I can block with the pawn or I could block uh, with, the, with the knight. In this game, I decided to play g3. Normally a problem uh, because black can take and it looks like that is potentially pinned, uh, and, you know, and that's potentially, uh, that seemingly is hanging as well, except, you know, I can now take that pawn with the knight. And then somehow everything is defended. So they can't take the knight because it's defended. Obviously they can't take the pawn, it's defended. And the queen doesn't even have check because the e4 square is defended by the knight. So geometrically, it actually just ends up working for white, even though, you know, heuristically, you might have thought that black had a pretty strong attack. Black now decided to double down. So put the bishop out and you can see Stockfish says, there is nothing here, time to go back. You have to pull back. The best move here for black is either retreating the queen all the way back or maybe, you know, pushing the pawn to d6. 
Here I get to develop the other knight, and the two knights are just very powerful. Now I've got an attack on the queen, the knight also now defends that pawn, everything remains defended, queen has to move, they move the queen to f4, and unfortunately that was a mistake. Can you see the best move here? That's right, it's d4. Attacking the bishop, which again, defended by the, uh, by the knight, discovered attack on the queen, everything here is defended, there is no, there is no check, because that's defended, that's defended, and here black saw the writing on the wall, <laughs> realised their mistake, and opted to resign. Good game, GG. My big takeaway from this game is that it's okay to take a risk in the game of chess. My opponent did lose, but it made for a highly enjoyable and fascinating position. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.